In this video, I'm going to give you the three biggest things you should consider when deciding whether or not you should go to school for music composition. Hey friends, if you're new here, my name is Marcus. I am a composer. I am a producer. I work in film and TV. I've scored Lady in the Lake starring Natalie Portman and Moses Ingram for Apple TV. I scored Haunt for Jesus, Save Your Soul with Universal. I've worked with Beyonce, Andrew Day, Chloe and Halle. I was composer in residence for Juilliard's Music Advancement Program. I've had commissions from the Atlanta Opera uh, and many more. Relevant to this video, I got my PhD in music composition from UCLA. I got a master's of music from FIU in Miami. I got my bachelor's at Columbia Chicago and I got an associate's from Schoolcraft College in music recording technology. Other than that, associates, all of my degrees are in music composition. People know that I went to school for a very long time for composing, so I often get a ton of questions about it, um, especially now that I am a full-time composer. So I get hit up about it a lot, and I thought like it would be helpful for me to share some things that you should consider if you're trying to decide, like, should I go to school or should I not? Because it's a very expensive decision, and I understand why it's a hard one. I had to make the decision myself a few times. So the first thing I recommend aspiring composers think about when deciding whether or not they should go to school for composition is what kind of music do you want to make? This is like a big thing I see because most school programs are either classical composition or film composition. And if you are aspiring to be a film and TV composer, you might end up frustrated if you go to a program that's centered on classical composition. Doesn't mean that you're not going to get anything useful from it, but like the majority of your classes and all of your professors and all of everything you're studying is going to be like channeling you towards composing classical music for orchestras, concerts, chamber music. It's not all going to be fun and games and it's going to be frustrating for you and very expensive. That said, my degrees are all in classical composition and I work as a film and TV composer now. There are benefits to it, but I just wanted to say that like that's one of the biggest source of frustrations that I see from young composers is like they kind of set in their mind that they were going to go to this school and this like launch their film tv composing career but like they're taking like classical music theory and studying like Bach chorales and like part writing and all of these things that like Hans Zimmer never does or cares about but that's what they have to do in order to get their degree because that's the situation they put themselves in. Uh, additionally, if you want to work in popular music, if you want to, uh, you know, make beats or be a producer, frankly, you just don't need a degree to do those things. No popular artist has a PhD in composition, to my knowledge. I haven't done all the research, but I, I just mean like, and getting a PhD or getting a degree in composing, any degree, even if it's an undergrad degree, is not going to unlock any doors for you in the popular music space. I've never been like trying to work with an artist and they were like, yeah, well, let me see your degree. <laughs> it's just not really how it works. The second question you should ask yourself if you are considering going to school for music composition is, what type of student am I? And what I mean by this is that having the degree in composition is not gonna get you any jobs. This is not like a, uh, music is not a field like business where it's like, oh, I pull up my CV and I apply for this job. Like I, you know, I got a commission from different orchestras or from Juilliard, for example, for the music advancement program. I wrote them a piece. It wasn't a job I sent in my CV for and because I got this degree, it opened up all these opportunities for me. It just doesn't work that way in music. So the question I think you should ask yourself if you're considering going to school for music composition is like, am I a self-initiated person? Am I entrepreneurial? Am I the type of student who is going to pursue and, and pull every thread that I can while pursuing my career path? For example, like I said, I work in film and TV now as one of the big parts of my career. I have only taken one film TV composing 10 week seminar in my whole life. I work in popular music and arranging. I'm the director for Southside Symphony, a fusion orchestra, and I have never once taken a jazz arranging, pop orchestration course, uh, band leading, any of these type of things. It's like I 
pursue that. So this isn't what the school will tell you, but I will tell you as somebody who really went through this, I wouldn't recommend going to school for music composition or really any type of like arts career path on the creative side, unless you are also entrepreneurial, because this is not like a business degree or something where it's like, oh, I got my MBA, I can apply for these accounting firms. It's like, no, it's like you still kind of have to make your career happen just the same except now you might have debt that you need to pay off, so you're a little more desperate. The third and final question you should ask yourself if you're considering going to school for composition is, what do I hope to get out of it? If you hope to teach at a university, 100%. That's really the only path that you can take towards getting there. I would caution you that there are a lot more PhDs in composition now than there are composition jobs. And I uh, was talking with a composer friend recently who told me that they're teaching at the same school that they were a grad assistant at now that they've graduated with their PhD. And they were making more money as a grad student. I said that to say it's rough out here. So even the teaching thing is 100% not a slam dunk. But if that's like your passion, I really want to teach uh, music at a university, you kind of have to go to school in order to, to get that job. For me, in my experience, it was, the math was that like, I wanted to get to LA. If I'm being honest, I really didn't want to keep going to school. I wanted to be done, but you know, financially, you know, my life, my situation, I didn't really have any other paths that could get me to LA. So school allowed me to go out there and I'm like, okay, I can try LA for four or five years and see how it works for me. School can give you time to develop your craft. Um, like I said, it, you really kind of need to be self-initiated in order to keep the things moving, in order to uh, make the opportunities happen. I see a lot of people who are like, okay, cool, I'm gonna get through school and then I'm gonna start my career. I think that's a terrible way to approach it as a composer, unless you family situation or something allows you to be supported while you are figuring it out. So it can give you time to hone your craft it can get you to a location that you'd like to be at. I'm, I'm in New York City right now visiting. It's like, oh, the, New York has some great music schools and a music scene. So it's like, it'll get me to one of these major hubs if you don't come from a major hub city like I didn't. So it's just really being very clear, what do you want to get out of it? If your goal is like, oh, I just wanna be a film TV composer, I would be more specific than that because a lot of them don't have degrees in music. Or like I said, if I wanna be a pop star, in whatever form that takes in popular music, you just probably, again, don't need that degree. Um, you might be able to get something more useful or just save your money and study privately with somebody who offers lessons. All that said, going to school for music was the only path for me and I don't regret it. I do have debt <laughs> that, you know, I sweat about sometimes. But for me, coming from a small town, coming from a place with not a lot of opportunities, this was the path that I needed and it afforded me the time to figure out my music. As part of the application, you're gonna to have to do a portfolio and this gives a lot of people a lot of stress. So I put together a free resource. It's a, it's a checklist of what should be in your composition portfolio. Download it in the description, subscribe, follow for more. I'm considering making more videos about composition school because I'm just getting asked about it so much. If you have specific questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below. All right, see you next time.